In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add 3D basic screen effect to your screen recordings using CapCut PC. Alright guys, let's get started. So I already have my screen recording, I'm just going to drag and drop in the timeline. This was just a basic screen recording of CapCut PC. So let me change the project settings, go to ratio. I'm going to use 16 by 9, it's going to be a YouTube format. Then with my video selected, I can increase it a bit just to fill the whole screen. So we're going to start, let's go to the left side of the software, click on effect. Then right here, you can search for player 3, it's going to pop out. I have mine already under favorites, so I can just go to favorites, drag and drop on it. Don't drop on the screen recording itself, just drag on top of just like this. Then we can stretch it and make it the same length. So with this whole tutorial, I want when I was doing some cuts on the timeline, so I'm just gonna trim this side so it will start right on that side. Let me trim this and make it the same length as this. Now with that player three selected, go to the right side. We're gonna do some few changes to the parameters on this side. So first of all, we're going to turn off glow. We don't need it for this tutorial. Then with texture, we're going to turn that to, to zero. Texture controls the music elements at the top on this side. We don't need that. So just take it to zero. And now with this effect, it always comes with a built-in animation. When I play from the beginning, you can see it comes in slowly. There's nothing we can do about that. So I'm going to show you guys one trick to play around it. So we're going to take our player to exactly when the animation ends click on the player three, then go to the right and make a keyframe on rotate, size, horizontal, and also vertical. We're gonna use those four parameters. Then I'm gonna take it to somewhere here and drop keyframe on the same four parameters. So that's horizontal, rotate, size, and vertical. Now let's just go to the first keyframe we created and let's do some changes to that. So with this, I'm just gonna start with rotate, I'm going to take it to this side so you can see the effect that it's giving. And with this kind of effect, less is more, so try not to do it too much. So I'm going to start with rotate. Let me go somewhere this side, somewhere 37. Then I want it to start somewhere from the down, so I'm going to increase the size a bit. I'm going to zoom in. Don't worry about the black side on this side. We're going to work on that to clean it up later on. So on horizontal, I want it to move from this side. So I'm just going to drag it towards this side. Let's go to vertical and let's move it probably down to this side. Just be playing around it to get the look you're going for. So now let me take it to this very keyframe. Remember, rotate was on the other side. So this time around, I'm going to go to this side. And then the size, I'm going to really increase it. Go to vertical and move it up. Because I want where I was doing the cutting to be in the middle. So I'm just going to really zoom in on that side. And the only downside about this effect is CapCut doesn't have the tilt. So we can tilt the screen a bit. That would have been really cool. But since we don't have it, we're just going to play trick with it. I'll show you guys. But it's not going to be the same as having the tilt effect. So now when I play and show you guys what we have so far. You can see it goes slow. It's too slow for my liking. So I'm just going to bring the keyframe closer to it and play and see how it looks like. When you're satisfied with this, just select all option G to create a compound clip of it. Now we're going to increase that a bit to take off the black side off. So make sure you select the compound clip and then on scale, we're just going to zoom in till it disappear on the screen. Let me go to this side and go to the ending part too. So I think we can increase that a bit more and probably move the X axis a bit more and see how it looks like. So now the in animation, we don't need that for this effect. So I'm just going to take my player to somewhere here and trim that side off. I don't need that. So now when you see it doesn't start from the in animation, it starts right on the effect we created. And for some reason, when you zoom in on your screen recording or your image, CapCut destroys the quality a bit. So we're going to play this trick. Make sure you select that. Go to adjustment on your right side, scroll down. We're going to add a bit of sharpening to it. Don't go too much with this. Just go a little bit just to sharpen the image or the screen recording. And if possible, you can add a bit of clarity to it. 
So there's one trick to play around it to have that tilt look a bit to it. So we're just going to take our player to this very beginning, the first frame. Make sure you click on video and click on basic. We're just going to use the rotate on this very side. Make a keyframe on that side. Take it to this very side and drop another keyframe on rotate. This time around, let's increase it a bit this way. Let's go to the first keyframe we created and let's go to the opposite side this time around. And now when I play and show you where we added the rotate effect, it gives it a little bit of that tilt look we're looking for. Now one last thing, we're going to add some blur to it. Go to the left side. You can search for blur on this side. I have it already on favorites. So I'm just going to drag and drop on top of it. Let me stretch it and make it the same length as that. I don't want it to be too much. So I'm just going to go to somewhere 10. Now, when you look at it, it's going to affect all of them. Now, click on mask and click on add mask. We're going to use circle mask for this effect. So, I'm going to shape it and make it look like an eye this way. So, it's something like this. So, now when you look at it, it's just going to blur the middle, but we don't want that effect. We want it to blur outside of this circle. So, click on this reverse. It's going to reverse that mask for you. Now let's add a bit of feather to it. We can go somewhere three. So it will blend in nicely. We want the focus to be on this side. So we can add some keyframes to this. We can go to the beginning. Make sure you click on that. And let's drop a keyframe on position and probably rotate and size. Then we can go somewhere here and drop on that side too. When you go to the front here, we can drag it. So this side just want to focus on that side. Now when I play and show you the final look what we have. Now if you want to learn how to create 3D effects just like Iman Ghazi, you can check on this video. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.